Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teachers. How are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Let's just start with our class today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Give me a sec. We're going to open our book here in the camera. Hi, Vladimir. Hi, Joanna. Hello, Javier. Hello, Bernardo. I think we're not going to have many people today. But let's see. Okay, give me a moment. So yesterday we were talking about the simple past, right? Today we are going to continue working with it. We just uh, were working also with an editing practice and we're going to work as well with some uh, exercises from the book, right? That's all we're going to do for today. Just let me go ahead and access again, right? Okay. Tell me if you can see Oh, no, 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 no. You cannot see anything right now. Hi, Carol. Good evening, Miss. Okay, now we are going to talk about right now some important topics. I want you to look at my computer right now and tell me if you see right there, right? There is like a game, right, that you can see. And we're going to speak about past events, right? We're just going to check one. We're going to start with one of them, right? I'm going to click on it. And we're going to think about a possible answer. For example, the first one says, talk about the last time you met your friends. So I'm going to start talking about last time I met my friends. That was back on September 17th, right? On September 17th, I went to a quinceañera party right? Because the daughter of one of my friends was turning 15. So it was her quinceañera and we danced uh, salsa music, we danced cumbias, and we ate a lot of cake, right? That's the last time I met with my friends, right? Now we are going to see other situations. That's all you're going to do to talk a little bit about something that you will see there, right? I would like to start right now with Carlos Vladimir. Carlos Vladimir, you're first, okay? Okay. Now, I'm gonna go. See? Talk about your best friend when you were a child. Mm. Who was your best friend? When, uh, when I was a child, uh, I have to I have to 
best friends. Mm -hmm. uh, his name are uh, Jonathan and Carlos. Uh, we they play play uh, football in my neighborhood. Uh, went to to the party on mm -hmm. Saturday on Saturday. And in, in some time, I went to Teleferico San Jacinto. Oh, mm -hmm. it, beauty, it was a beautiful place. It was a beautiful place, yes, Vladimir. Yes. Excellent, very Only. good. Only that. That was Only perfect. That. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to get there. Choose another person, Vladimir. We're going to choose five people today. Right, to start okay. with to this class. So choose another person. Okay, okay. Emerson. Emerson. Good evening, Good evening Emerson. Okay, we're gonna go there, Emerson. Pay attention to the screen. Ooh. Talk about an unforgettable trip you did. Unforgettable is like, you, oh, I remember very well because it was perfect. It was beautiful. It was exciting. So tell us about an unforgettable trip you did. Okay. Uh, I remember on time uh, with family. Uh, go to the travel, went travel. Uh, of the beach and the uh, and you and we 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 were this look at the the how do you say ballet in English? Well, well, see the wells and the sea uh, okay. while the we go. While we went, the families and the in the boat. In the boat, okay. Uh huh. It's amazing. Very good, Emerson. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay. Choose another person, Emerson. Okay. Miss Carol. Carol. Hello, Carol. So let's see, Carol. Oh, okay. Talk about how you met your best friend. My best friend, my best friend. Huh? You met, met. Can you speak up? Puedo hablar más fuerte? Speak up. Hola. Hello, Ahora sí. perfect. Yes, thank you. Uh, I know answer than the met. Okay, talk about how you met your best friend. For example, one, I have two best friends. One best friend I met at the university. We met because we were taking the same maestria, right? So we met and we became best friends in 2018, right? Now we are really good friends. We go out, we eat together, right? So that's how I met my best friend, right? What about you? Okay, but I, I have, I have, the four uh, best friends. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the college mm -hmm. and university. Uh, I talk uh, with her all time. Um, I see the Facebook, WhatsApp, mm -hmm. uh, 
Only. <laughs> Only that. Okay. Thank you, Carol. Thank you very much. Very good job. Thank you. Now let's continue with the last person for today. Choose another student, Carol. Um, Joanna. Joanna. Okay, Joanna. Let's okay. see if it's her turn. Talk about your favorite memory when you were a teen, a teenager. Mm -hmm. Like 13 to 19 years old. I beside my grandmother and my cousins and, and play and play uh, in the Campo, what is the in the countryside? In the countryside, um, I uh, I ate um, quesadillas and uh, um uh, uh, dance. My when my cousins in the in the house. You dance with your cousins in the house. Very good. Uh -huh. okay. Excellent, Joanna. Very good job. Thank you so much. So okay. now we're going to stop right there, right? So we can do other activities. Right. Thank you so much for sharing everyone. Right. Now we are going to start working here with some of the activities that we had from yesterday. Right, yesterday we uh, were working with some editing practice that says my flight to Canada, right? My flight to Canada. Did you finish that exercise? Do you finish the exercise, my flight to Canada? No, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna continue this one here, here. Okay, perfect. So if you didn't, don't worry. What we're going to do is the following. We're going to work in pairs right now to do it faster because yesterday we took like five minutes. So today I need you to do it also in no more than 10 minutes and we're going to do it in pairs, okay? Just making sure here, right? Just give me one moment. Elena está de oyente, Carla está de oyente. Veamos quién más. Freddy Hernández, no sé quién es. Francisco está de oyente. One. One, two. Three. Pablo va a estar de oyente. Oh, Manuel Alfredo. Pablo estará de oyente. No, no me escucho. Entonces, asumamos que sí. Right. Now we're going to make groups right now. Just give me a moment. Okay, very good. In all the groups, we have people that are just listening to the class. So let's go ahead and pay attention. Let's get to work. We're going to have 10 minutes and then we come back to share the answers. Okay, let's go. Si ya tienen las respuestas, por favor, no se las den a sus compañeros. Y discútanlas. That's very important. Let's get to work. Let's go. Si ya tienen las respuestas, por favor, no se olviden de compartir hasta que hayan discutido las respuestas. Eso es importante, por favor. 
No se olviden de no solamente dar las respuestas, discútanlas con sus compañeros. Por favor. Hi, Sara. Hi, Noé. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to send you to another group so you can start working, okay? Okay. ¿Qué le pareció, Sara? Oscar, ¿y a usted? Did you finish? ¿Alguien comparta la pantalla? Le va a salir mucho más fácil. Carol y Luis. Uh, Yo no la puedo compartir, no, no la tengo en la computadora. ¿Y usted, Javier? Ahorita, ahorita. Thank you. ¿De dónde se comparte? ¿De dónde se comparte la santa? Abajo está una, una flechita hacia arriba. Share screen. Que dice compartir o share screen. Share screen. Uh -huh. Can now see you your application. Mm -hmm. Y aquí que no las compartiera aquí. o solo las puso las señaló sí pero no las no las no no las ha hecho todavía no eso está muy bien <risa> ¿Cuáles otras encontró? Is name. Is name. Is name. Is name. Is Eduardo. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Noche. Disculpen, creo que están en, en grupo, ¿verdad? Sí, estamos revisando el ejercicio. Sí, me acabo de conectar porque he tenido problemas. Ahorita no sé qué, qué es lo que se va a hacer. El ejercicio de ayer que dejó eh, Pablo, de ver los errores. Sí, como ayer no estuve en la, en la clase. Ay, perdón. Okay. <ríe> <Por eso. ríe> ok, vamos a ver. Voy a bueno, ver. ahorita... Ah, uh -huh. disculpe. <ríe> Ayer Pablo se envió esa, esa imagen que tiene ella ahí, se envió por WhatsApp. Entonces lo que estamos oh. haciendo es identificando los verbos que están mal. Entonces son 30 oh, okay. verbos que están mal y los estamos viendo cómo lo vamos a hacer a, a, al pasado. ¿Ok? Ah, oh, ok, ok, gracias. Perfect, thank you. Uh -huh. Entonces... Wait. 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 Ide. Eh, Ede. Ajá. Así. Wait. Wait.
Parchun Long. Parchun Long for about for about five minutes. Five minutes. For, um, God, 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 God. 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 After I bore. Uh -huh. After I bore, bore it. Yeah. By I, I bore. Bore. Bore it. Bordy. Así. Sí. Bordy. Mhm. Otra vez. Otra vez. Uh -huh. Yes, and found my seat. I, 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 I found, found. Oh, see? Sí. And then I see it. Okay, sad. Uh huh. Si no recuerdo mal. Sat. Ajá. Sat down. It down. And fast and faster on my seatbelt. I, I was I was lucky. Because my seat. My seat was a was, window. Was a window seat. I saw I can't. Good. Cool. Good. Mm -hmm. So I could look outside. Okay. No. Eso está bien. Um, Pude ver hacia afuera. The plane. Looks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Look. Look. No, look. Está bien así. Look outside. Ok. Ok. As the plane. Looks. Sí. Oh. Uh -huh. No, no, no es look. Uh, o oh, así está bien. No, así está bien. No va a en pasado tampoco. No, es eh, en presente. I could look outside was in plain. Okay, takes off. See you now. Ah. consenso, la dejamos de último. Sigamos avanzando con lo demás. La de Luke. Ajá, la de Luke. Vaya. Aquí. Tux. 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 Ajá. Tux off. Qué racha lo que hace tiempo. Mm. Ya acabó. Cuatro. Cuatro minutos faltan. Sí. Oh, va. A few After hours. Few... The flight attendants served. Con... Served. Served. Served us. Served Sir. us. Sí. Sí. Ajá. Served us. Served. Served dinner, us. Dinner. And then I. Talked. Talk. Talked. Talk to the passenger next to me. His name was. Check out the person next to me. His name is what? Uh -huh. Eduardo. I am. And Eduardo. I am. I was. I was. So. I was. Sí, igual. Sí, igual. Surprise. Surprise, so far. To phone. 
found found out that it's also traveling. Found. Yes. Okay. Found out that he's also was. traveling. He, he was also, also traveling to Vancouver to study in to study. study. No, study is studying. Estuve estudiando. Estudié inglés en el verano. Dice, Estoy es posible encontrar a alguien que también está viajando a Vancouver para estudiar. No, pero él está hablando del pasado, no. Sí, pero ya pero tiene el sentido, el sentido con verano. que encontré y él estaba estudiando. Él estaba viajando, perdón. Alguien estaba también viajando a Vancouver. A Vancouver. Para, para estudiar, estudiar inglés. Okay. Uh -huh. Para. Finally, I watch. I watch. watch. Watched an action movie and then our plane landed. landed. Sí. Sí. Soon after that, I, I have. I have. 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 A wonderful time in Canada. A wonderful time. It was really fun. It was really. It was. Really made. Um, made. 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 Fly, Mexican. Mexican. Yeah. But I, ahí está bien, va. Sí. But I will never forget. Ah, creo que ya. Ahí va. Uh -huh. Bueno. Uy, se encogió. Ahí se la grabé, va. Uh, Un poquito. poquito más grande. Ahorita. Se rehúsa a hacerse más grande. Gracias. Control y el, y el scroll del mouse. O en el, eh, abajo le dice Zoom también. Así también, así el es. Más así y el es. menos. Ajá. Es más fácil. Es que condenado. O solo tiene 100 o 50 o 100. Adivina. Espera. Mm. Yo digo que en 200 y lo bajas. Ah, ok. Vale, de acuerdo. Está bien. Porque, por lo menos, yo estoy el pochoqui. <risa> Entonces nos hizo falta look. Entonces, vale. así queda, va. Tenemos 30 segundos. Dos. No, así sí. Vale, así queda. Yo Pero creo bájalo que... un poquito más. Bájalo un poquito más. Por favor, Carlos. Ahí. Vale, está ya. Okay. Gracias. Bye. Okay, we're just gonna wait for the others to come back. Right, so we can start sharing our answers. And we're gonna take this.
Okay, just give me a second. I'm going to call the attendance first and then we we'll continue. Okay, now I have here, right, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present, Miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Johanna Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present, Miss. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Bernardo López Montes. Presente. Carla Eugenia Hernández, Hernández Sotelo. Presente. Carlos Eliz, Carol Elizabeth Calanta Enríquez. Presente. Luis Javier Castillo. Presente. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Presente. Sara Vigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Paula Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Okay. Very well then. Now we will continue here with our practice. Right. Thank you, Elena. So we got there, right? Our first editing practice. And we're going, yesterday we checked some of them, right? Now today we're going to keep on checking them. Right, of course, we have I was, I took, right? We, we did this too yesterday. Now, I want you to, to look the answers. Look at the answers right now right? And I need you to check, right? Let's check if you have the correct answers. I'm going to check the answers right now, right? This is what we, we are supposed to have. These are the verbs, right? That we need to check. So please look at your exercise and we're going to read this in a moment, okay? So you can listen to the pronunciation of the verbs, right? Check all of them. Check your verbs, right? Si no lo tiene bien, corríjalo, por favor. Anótelo a la par. Ya vamos a ver la pronunciación. So please do. Okay, did you check? Yes? Or no? Did you check? Yes, yes. Thank you, Vladimir. And what about the others? Did you check, guys? Did you check yes, the answers? Me. Yes, Joanna, thank you, Joanna. Los demás, asumiré que chequearon todo. Comenzamos con la siguiente parte de la actividad. Right? Now, we're going to read right now this, 
these are verbs in English. We don't know many uh, verbs in past, but now we're going to practice them. So I need you to please pay attention. Stop doing whatever you're doing and pay attention to me, please. Okay? It says, last month was very special. I flew by myself for the first time. I was a little nervous, but it was exciting. First, I took a taxi to the international airport terminal. Then I checked in at the check-in counter and walked to the departure lounge at gate B64. I was early, so I didn't have to wait a long time to go through immigration and security. Then I waited in the departure lounge for about 25 minutes before I got, I got on the plane. After I boarded the plane, I walked along the aisle and found my seat. Then I sat down and fastened my seatbelt. I was lucky because my seat was a window seat. So I could look outside as the plane took off. After a few hours, the flight attendants served us dinner and then I talked to the passenger next to me. His name was Eduardo and I was surprised to find out that he was also traveling to Vancouver to study English for the summer. Finally, I watched an action movie and then our plane landed soon after that. I had a wonderful time in Canada. It was really fun and I made lots of new friends from all over the world. Next week, I will fly back to Mexico, but I will never forget my time here. Okay, so this is a very good story. Now we're gonna have three people to help me read. Right, we're going to divide this whole article in three parts. Right, so the first part, please. Do I have a volunteer? Vladimir. Vladimir, okay, thank you, Vladimir. So you're going to go here, Vladimir, right? After it says here, plane, here, up to here, okay? Plane, yes. Okay, very good, let's start. Last month was very special. I flew by myself on the first time. I was a little nervous, but I was excited. First, I took a taxi to the International Airport Terminal. Then I checked in at the check-in counter and walked to the departure lounge at gate B64. I was early, so I didn't have to wait a long time to go through immigration and security. Then I waited in the departure lounge for 25 minutes before I got on the plane. Excellent job, Carlos. Very good. We're just gonna check one word, lounge. Lounge, lounge, lounge. lounge for about lounge. 25 minutes. Very good, excellent job. Now, who wants to go next? Another volunteer? Me, miss. Okay, Tatiana. Okay, you're gonna start from after I boarded. Just give me a moment. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Give me a second. You're gonna go from after I boarded the plane up to me, okay? Okay. After I boarded the plane, I walked along the island and found myself. Then I sat down and fastened my seatbelt. 
I was lucky because my seat was a window seat, so I could look outside as the plane to, took off. After the a few hours, the flight attendant served as diner and then I took to the pass, pa passenger next to me. Excellent, Tatiana. Very good, very good. Now we're just gonna check this, Tatiana. Okay, we're gonna work. Talked. 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 Not touch. Talk. Talk. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. Now, who wants to do the last part? Who wants to practice their English? Uh huh. Nobody wants to practice English. Oh my goodness. That's so sad. I feel so sad right now. My heart is broken. You don't want to practice English. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carol, there you are. Perfect. Mm -hmm. His name was Eduardo, and I was surprised to find out that he was also traveling to Vancouver to study English for the summer. Finally, I watched an action movie and the old plane length soon after that. I had a wonderful time in Canada. I was really fun. I made lots of new friends from all over the world. Next week, I will fly back to Mexico, but I will never forget my time here. Excellent job. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Carol. You did amazing. Very good. Excellent pronunciation. So we got there, right? Now, we have different verbs, right? With this activity. And I would like to know if you have questions about the reading, about the article. I will ask you some questions right now based on this article and I need you to tell me. Where was he traveling to? Where was he traveling to? He was traveling to Vancouver. He was traveling to Vancouver. Very good. Excellent. Right. Excellent. Very good. Now, who was he traveling with? Eduardo. Hmm? Eduardo. Eduardo. With Eduardo. Okay. Was he traveling with Eduardo or did he meet Eduardo in the plane? Did he meet the plane? He met him at the plane. He, he met him at the plane. Very good. Emerson Bernardo, excellent job. Very good. Now, next question. What was he going to study in Vancouver? He studied English. 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 He studied English. Very good. Excellent job. Excellent job. Now we're going to stop right there. Right. Tell me if you have questions, please. Questions? No questions. Uh huh. Well, let's go ahead and work in our book then, right? We're gonna work in our book. I want you to go to page 31, page 31. We're gonna keep practicing pronunciation today. Page 31. 
this page. 31. On your book. Now, on your book, we're going to practice this here. Right? It's a small conversation between Luz and Eva. Right? So, listen to me first, and then I will have Luz is going to be Sara, and Eva is going to be Oscar. Right? So, please pay attention. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. I actually think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Got that conversation? Sara and Oscar, you're up. Can you tell me more about your experience? Oscar Noé, se fue ese cipote, me Es que tiene problemas eh, con el internet desde ayer, ya. Mm, ok, don't worry. Carol, you go, you're Eva. It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for white about do you remember the agent name no i don't i don't actually actually i think he didn't say his name he wasn't keen my apology for that and what about our product could you so could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considered. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay, good job. Good job, guys. Now, I am going to check some of the words with you right now, right? These are difficult words or phrases, okay? So I need you to look at them. Listen, experience, 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 experience. Receipt. 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 receipt, 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 agents, agents, actually, 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 actually. kind, 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 kind. Apologies. 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 Could you use it? Could you use, use it? Considerate. Considerate. Okay, very well then. Right. Now we're going to continue here, right, with our practice. Carol, you choose one student. And Sarah, you choose another student. Repeat, teacher. You choose Bernardo. another student, please. Bernardo. Bernardo, okay. Bernardo, you're going to be Eva. Sarah, choose another student. Uh, Franco. Franco. Oh, no, Franco está oyente. Escoja alguien más. Uh, Daisy. No puedo, se gusta ahorita. No puede, okay. Puedo, Perfect. Puedo. You're going to be loose then, Eduardo. Okay. 
Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My, apolog my apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you, could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Right. Now, in this conversation, thank you, Eduardo. Thank you, Bernardo. Right. We have a conversation. It's a negative conversation that we have about these two girls. Right. And we are going to discuss what happened to that conversation. Who are they talking about? Are they talking about their mom, their boss, their supervisor? Who are they talking about? They were talking about, about an experience, experience with the product. They were talking about the experience with the product and they were talking the about the experience with who? The seller who sold the product. Okay, the agent who sold the product. Very good. Or the seller. Excellent. Very good. So, did she like the product? Did she like the product? In the conversation, what do you think? Yes, she did. She did? Yes. Okay. Did she like the customer service? No, miss. No, she didn't, right? She didn't like yeah. the customer service. Okay. Very good. So is this a conversation between two friends? Or is this conversation about someone else? Uh, or between someone else? I'm just... Between? Repeat. Uh, I'm just, uh, uh, the agent. Angel. Uh -huh. Uh, with the uh, client. With the client, very good, very good. Who is the client, Luz or Eva? Who is the client? Client is Eva. The client is Eva. The customer is Eva. Very good, Tatiana, good job. Good job. Now, we're going to work here, I wouldn't, we're just gonna move to the next activity. Yesterday we practiced this. Right now, we are going to do the following, right? Uh, Emerson, can you read this structure? Okay, miss. Read Mr. Mendoza and uh, Mr. Torres describe their experience with two different companies. Okay. We have two experiences with two companies. Thank you, Emerson. We have Mrs. Good. Mendoza and Mr. Torres. So Mrs. Mendoza, Joanna, can you read about Mrs. Mendoza? And can you read about Mr. Torres, Javier? Okay. I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even shared, shared, shared me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Beside all that, 
I forgot to mention that they came very late. Okay, good. Thank you. Javier? I had a problem with the car's engine, engine so I so so I called called it for assistance. The mechanic was really kind kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I start the engineering and everything was perfect. Everything was perfect. Thank you so much, right? So we have Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres. You are going to read this, right? They both had different situations, right? Different experiences with companies. So first, let's talk about these two questions and let's give answers to those questions. Read this, please. Read the two examples. Read the two experiences and answer the question number one. Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? And number two, did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Right. Those are the two questions that we're going to answer. Pretty easy, right? Very, very easy. So let's do it individually. Individually right now, please. Let's start, individual work. Did you finish? No? Let me know whenever you finish, please. Finish, miss. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay, I think we can share the answers, right? So, what do you have, Tatiana, for number one? No. Okay, number one, please, the answer. Jacqueline, su micrófono. Yes, miss. Disculpe, Tatiana, le puse mute por error. Le voy a poner mute a, a Jacqueline. Yes, miss, Mr. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment. Okay, perfect. Yes, Mr. Mrs. Mendoza had a problem with the method of payment. Okay. Mm hmm but she can say how many times? Pay payroll system, eh, 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 lo mismo, piensa. Okay, okay. 
Okay, let's check it out. What 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 do the others think? Look what it says. It says Mrs. Mendoza. She says that she had a problem with the payroll system. The technician came and helped with it. He solved it and he broke something. Right. So when you break something, do you think it's something more like um, money or what's a, a machine? What do you think? Guys, do you have the same answer? Necesito que me contesten, chicos, por favor. Uh, I think a machine. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, machine. Yes, it was a machine. Absolutely, Tatiana. So she didn't have a problem with a method of payment. She had a problem with a machine, right? No, so no, she didn't, right? What about number two? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Who else? Uh, Only Tatiana is in class. Uh, Mr. Torres called for assist assistance. Okay, he called for assistance. Who did he call? He called the mechanic. He called the mechanic. Very good. Not his best friend. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, Bernardo. Right? Now, we're going to continue working right now. Right. And now in this very moment, since we are working right now with problems, right? And yesterday we learned how to make questions, right? We practice to make yes, no questions and WH questions. We're going to make the questions for this, right? Remember, with the yes, no questions, we start with did, right? And the short answers, yes, I did, yes, she did, we did, they did, etc or the negative, right? So we have the answers, right? And we need questions. It says, yes, I did. I sent the email. What's going to be the question to that? Did you send the email? Did you send the email? Excellent, Tatiana, right? Did you send the email? Did you send the email? Oh, yes, I did. I sent the email, right? That's what we're doing, making the, sure that we connect the answers to the questions, right? So let's start. We have four more questions to go, right? And to write. Let's do it individual work, please. Let's do it, let's do it. I mean, if you have questions or something.
Miss, I have a question. What's your question, Tatiana? In the four, uh, did we always receive a copy of their? <laughs> Good question. Uh, no, you, you don't have to use always. No, uh, don't use it. And remember, it's a conversation. So you are not going to use we. Mm -hmm. You're going to use a different pronoun, not we, because if we, yes, we, no, because it's a conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh. So think carefully what is it going to be the subject you will use. It's not we and delete always. Mm. Let me know whenever you finish. Use uh, you. Yes. Ah, okay. Ready to share? Yes. yes okay, Joanna, very good. Yes. What about the others? Finish. Yes, yes, okay, very Finish. good. Great job. Ooh. Great job, let's see here. Joanna, go with number two. Did they check the package? Did they check the package? Mm -mm, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Very good. Number three, Emerson. Did it return it to card again? Again? Did? Did it? Did it, it turn the card again? The car again. Okay. Now we have here one one subject one extra subject remember here we say yes it did the car turn again it's like we're giving more information right say did you send the email yes i did i sent the email so i'm just repeating right i'm just repeating in real life you don't do that much right did they check the package no they didn't they didn't check the package. So this is like a repetition of the short answer, right? So what could be here, my answer is this, yes, it did. What is it, Emerson? What is it? It is the car. It is the car, exactly. It is the car. So what do we do? Did the car turn it on again? Okay, but why are we repeating it twice in the question? Did did the, the car turn? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did, the, did car the car turn turn on again? On again. Very good. Did the car turn on again? Turn on, like for example, you say, turn on, turn off, right? Turn on, turn off. 
Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Emerson. Number four, Tatiana. Did you never receive a copy of the receipt? A copy of the receipt. There is a mistake on my sentence before. What is the mistake? Let me see. Oh, no, 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 no. Did the card turn on again? Okay, yeah. Very good. Did you never receive a copy of the receipt? Now, there is an extra word in your question, Tatiana. Did you never receive a copy of the receipt? What is the extra word? Something that we don't need in the question. Mm. What is it? I don't know. Please. Okay. Did don't worry. Never... Don't worry. Who wants to help Tatiana? Did you receive a copy? Did you receive a copy? Exactly. We don't need the word never. It's not necessary, right? Because never, it's like a synonym of didn't, right? In this case, we never did that action. Thank you. And Carol, Teacher, yes? I have a question. Did we? No. In the pronoun? No. It's a conversation. It's a conversation. Oh. So in this case, you use uh, the pronoun you. Right, unless, for example, it's only you and me talking, right? Oh, did we do this? Yes, we did, right? But usually in this type of conversations, someone else is asking you. Let's suppose it's you and Carlos, right? So, hi, Carlos, hi, Joanna. Did you receive a copy of the receipt? Did you? You too. Did you receive a copy of the receipt? Not me, I'm talking to you, right? Okay. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome, Joanna. And number five, Carol. Did he bought a new tie? Okay, did he bought a new tire? Now, but is the past tense of a verb. What is that verb? This verb needs to be changed. But what is the base form of but? Buy. Buy. Did he buy a new tire? Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Right? That's what we do. Right? Questions about these questions? No questions? Are you sure? No, Miss. No sure or no questions? <laughs> no questions. Okay. Now, we're going to create our conversations now. Right? Now, in your conversation, right, what we're going to do? is that we are going to talk about a past experience, but this past experience must be related to your work, right? Or, um, well, let's talk about any past experience, right? Any past experience. Now, like I said, you're going to talk about it, right? And you're going to try to make as many questions with your friends. Right? You're going to practice the conversation and then you're going to be here with me. It doesn't have to be very long, but it doesn't have to be very short either, right? No hay conversación, micro conversación de hello, hi, una pregunta y ya terminamos. That's not a, a, a full conversation, right? What we need you to do is to practice. So that's, that's what we're going to uh, work with. Now, the first rule, use the simple past. 
Affirmative, negative questions, short answers. Use the simple past. That's rule number one. Rule number two, choose, choose a situation. Let me see here. Dun, dun, dun. Use a situation. Yo creo que ya lo puedo a las situaciones, chicos. Give me a moment. I'm gonna give you your situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Can you see my computer? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. Yes. Very well. Now, what I want you to look at right now, right, is this. Here, here, we have different situations, right? Buy, a, buy 100 cans of cat food, laugh a lot, get a very short haircut, sleep all day, make dinner, watch TV, a lot of situations, right? So what you're going to do is to use the past simple to make your conversation. Here we have like the beginning of the conversation, right? So we start with one question here. This is a general question, right? And we can continue working now. Um, Let's do the following. We have this situation, right? Study Italian in Japanese, right? That's the situation that I am going to choose and Bernardo is going to help me. Okay, Bernardo? So, I am going to answer. You ask me questions, okay? You start, you are letter A, I am letter B. Everyone pay attention. Dejen de hacer lo que están haciendo. Right? Let's pay attention. You are letter A, I am letter B. Let's start. Teacher, what did you do yesterday? Hi, Bernardo. Uh, well, I studied Italian in Japanese yesterday. And where did you study uh, Japanese? Oh, I studied Japanese at the Japanese Embassy here in San Salvador. Why did you study Japanese? Oh, I studied Japanese, Bernardo, because I think um, I am going to travel next year to Japan. Oh, right. And did you have a great time studying Japanese? No, it was yesterday. It, the class was very difficult. The teacher asked us, for many Japanese verbs, and I didn't practice before the class. So I was very sad. It was difficult. Yes, it was difficult, Bernardo. And you, what did you do yesterday? Uh, I worked uh, loading, checking the uh, loading for the United States. Okay, very good. And then we continue with Bernardo, right? You see, we're having a conversation. Here we have everything, right? You say, no, I mean, me gustan esas situaciones, yo quiero otras. So you can write them. You can mention all the situations, right? But here you have plenty of situations. You can choose two, right? I chose one of these. You didn't choose one of these, right, eh, Bernardo? No, right? No, he, he invented another situation. And that's perfect. You can do that, right? You can do that. Now, do you understand what you are going to do? Yes, miss. Yes, Emerson says yes. Carol, Luis, did you understand the activity? Carlos, Joanna, Liz, eh, sorry, Eduardo, eh, yes, Tatiana, please. Oscar Noé, okay. Very good. Now we're going to practice right now and we're going to practice our conversation. 
choose your situations. We're going to speak. Así no se duerme Emerson, si no se va a dormir. Let's start. I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp, okay? Or Vladimir, can you do me a favor and take the screenshot? Please. No tengo WhatsApp en la compu, niños. Can you help me, please? Thank you so much, Vladimir, you're so kind. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, those are the situations that we're going to use. We're going to work right now in groups of three, right? Three people for each group. So I have Carla. No, Carla, Carla todavía está ocupada. Carla. Okay, we have Carol, Luis, Carlos Vladimir, Francisco Lopez, no, Bernardo, sí, Emerson, sí, Joanna, Eduardo. Okay, let me see. We create. Vamos a cambiar de equipo. Just give me a moment. Oscar, ¿le sirvió ya el Inter? So, so. So, so, okay. Pablo, ¿a usted? Um, more or less. More or less. Esperemos que more than less. We have yet seen. Bueno, vámonos acá. Let's go. Let's get to work. Speaking only. Escojan la mayoría de actividades posibles. Ok. Usen sus diccionarios, por favor. Use your dictionaries. Try to practice as much as you can. Let's go. Let's go. Chicos, lo voy a estar cambiando dentro de cinco minutos a otros equipos. Algunos de ustedes. Así que por favor practiquen. Eh, where you, where did you? Comparta la imagen para make... que tengan la, la conversación ahí a la mano y les resulte un poco más fácil ir siguiendo el, el, el curso de la conversación. Ok. Uh -huh. Joana, ¿será que podrá compartir la, la pantalla de usted? Deme un segundito. Aquí, ok. Ok. Si usted empezamos otra vez. Ah, okay. What did you do yesterday? I made a diner yesterday. Uh, where do, did you make diner? I made diner in my house. Oh. Why did you make diner? I made diner because uh, my uh, material material electric. I bought a wireless and box electric electrical box 
and two a new screwdriver, flat on Phillips, and both to, I don't know, how do you say tengaducto? A pipe, 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 electrical pipe. Okay, to share, make... share the conversation, Carlos. Comparta la conversación para que la puedan ver y se vayan dirigiendo de una forma más eh, rápida. Ah, ok, lo, lo, que, lo que compartió. Lo que... Sí, así vale. ustedes van viendo y se van dirigiendo como hicimos eh, con Bernardo. Vale, de acuerdo. What program did you watch? I watched uh, the um the series in Wu Jungu. Oh. <laughs> Buena. Try to yeah. share your yeah. screen so it's easier for you to practice. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. Compartan la pantalla, si se le va a hacer más fácil ir compartiendo, viendo palabras o escenarios que tienen ya a la mano. ¿Ok? Ok. I need a new compo. Bye. Uh -huh. Okay. Podemos cambiar la situación si quieres también. A ver, veamos. Sí, sí podemos probar otra, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Seeing an action. Podemos intentar con see an action movie. Okay. What did you do yesterday? Ah, uh, I yesterday I seen watch uh, Armageddon. Armageddon. Yes. It's a good film. Where did you see Armageddon? Uh, I was in house for with my girlfriend. Very nice. What did you see with your girlfriend? Uh, with her. We Sería. was she was part time. Oh, oh. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. Sure. It's great. It's great. Vamos con otra. Bye. For example, play basketball. Play basketball. Hi, Emerson. What did you do yesterday? Hi, Emerson. I I played the basketball with my friends. Oh, 
I see. Play basketball? I play it in the Cancha Santa Lucia with my friends. Okay. Why did you play basketball with your friends? I play basketball with my friends because we like it. This doing exercise. Oh, it's perfect. Have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Be very fine. Play the basketball. Okay. Vaya, entonces, si gusta, cuando nos pregunten, voy a responderle el del coffee. El del coffee, ok. Yes. Y Bye. usted, eh, no sé cuál. cuál. Eh, el de basketball. Basketball, ok. Hi, Miss Joana. How are you? Teacher, hola. <ríe> Me sacaron. <ríe> ya vi que de repente apareció aquí. Yo la saqué. <ríe> Yo la saqué. <ríe> ah, bueno. Ya vio que la sacaron. <ríe> Estaba aburrido. <ríe> ah, está bueno. Vaya, pregunta. <ríe> Va, pregunta, pregunta. What did you do? What did you do yesterday? I am. Um... Watch TV for 10 hours. Really? Where do you see that? Where you just saw TV? Uh, I watch TV in my bedroom. It's great. What did you see in your bedroom? I have a. Uh, oh. What is the meaning uh, of free time? That you don't uh, work, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I I didn't I did not work yesterday. Yesterday. He's right. Did the did the, did you have a good time when you saw the TV? No, I didn't. <laughs> Nunca he visto tanta tela. <laughs> Ahora le pregunto. Eh, 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 what did you do yesterday? I, uh, I am wrong for always three hours. Where did you I, run? I run it. With my friends in the in the Cerro Monte Cristo. Where? Why did you run? I don't run it with my friends, but part time we did. Did you have a good time? Yes, really. Okay. Pregunta a ver si no. What did you do yesterday? A, I ate uh, some fries and a burger yesterday. Sino? Where did you do? Where did you eat the burger? I ate burger and McDonald's. Mm. McDonald's, you said by McDonald's. <laughs> 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 McDonald's Escalon. McDonald's Escalon. Escalon. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you have a good time when the Eat a uh, hamburger? Mm, uh, no, I didn't. 
uh, because the the burger um uh, como digo fría fri the burger cool. cool. it it's cold what's cold it, no it's, it's what's cold mm -hmm. qué pasa it was cold okay, okay. Uh, what did you do yesterday? I uh, played the basketball with my friends. Oh, where did you play basketball? I uh, played it with my friends in the Cancha Santa Lucia. Why do you uh, play basketball? Mm. We played it basketball with uh, this funny and uh, this uh, healthy do don't don't exercise. Did you have a good time? Yes, it's very fine. A good time. Okay. Okay. Ah, yeah, no, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pepper, no problem. Okay, so now before we continue, we have most of you. We're going to call the attendance and then we're going to practice a little bit. Okay. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. We're missing Carlos, Eduardo, Pablo, and Tatiana. Okay, just Tatiana and Pablo. They're coming back. Okay, so let's start changing our examples. Right, we would like to start with, well, I would like to start with Oscar and Emerson because they are ready. Yo los escuché, so they are ready for the activity, right? So I'm going to share here my screen one more time, right? So you feel comfortable with the, the information and let's start. Okay. Hi, Oscar, how are you? I am so I'm fine. And what did you do yesterday? Yesterday I drank about six cups of coffee. Really? Where did you drink coffee? Uh, yes, it's, it's it's really. I I drank coffee in my work. Okay. What did you drink drink drunk coffee in your work? Uh, I, I drank so much coffee. I get up very early and start work at uh, 5 a.m. Okay. And did you have time when that you drank coffee in your work? Uh, repeat, please. Did you have a, a good time when you drank a coffee in your oh, oh yes I, I i i have good time yes i did okay what did you do yesterday emerson i uh, played basketball with my friends oh i see where did you play basketball with your friends I played well, basketball in the Cancha Santa Lucia. Oh, why did you play basketball? 
in Santa Lucia? Like it played the basketball because it's funny. Oh, perfect. Have a good time with uh, your friends? Yes, yes, I did. It's very funny. Perfect, Amazon. Say. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Oscar and Emerson. Very good job. Right, now we're gonna continue. Just remember uh, Emerson and Oscar, intonation. Did you okay. have a good time? Yes, I had a good time. <laughs> right, it doesn't sound like you had a good time, right? Very good, but thank you. Thank you, Emerson and Oscar. Let's continue with the group of Bernardo. Bernardo, who were you, who, who were you with? Uh, I was with um, Carol. With Carol, okay, very good. Sir? In my group, original is, is Vladimir. We it doesn't move. matter, but you practice, right? So yes. let's go. go. Yeah. Vladimir. Lo dejó solo, mire, ¿verdad? No, con los dos, no, <ríe> se puede. Como cuando hacen los equipos de tres y hay uno, y le dice el cuarto, ¿no? Eso. No. <ríe> ok, let's I go, Bernardo. In, in first group. <ríe> <ríe> ok, Bernardo, Karel y en Vladimir, go. Hello, Bernardo. <ríe> Hi, Vladimir. Hi, Carol. Hi, Bernardo. Uh, what, did, what did you do yesterday, uh, Vladimir? Hi, Carol. Uh, I slept to 11 a.m. Uh, after that, in the afternoon, I went to bought uh, electrical materials. Mm. And you, Bernardo? Uh, what did you do yesterday? Yesterday, I took a photo, a lot of photo in my job. Uh, uh, Bernardo, uh, where where did you play the material electric electric matter? Vladimir bought the electric materials. <laughs> I I bought the electrical materials uh, in Vidri Ejército. Uh, why did you uh, electrical materials? I bought. Why did the, you play the electrical materials? Buy the electrical materials. What? Why did you buy electrical materials? Uh, okay, I bought the electrical material because I going to make a electrical installation in a house. Oh, did you have a good time? Yes, I did have a good time yesterday. Finish this. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for sharing. As you can see here, right, we have some of the things that we need to check, right? At 11, I went okay. to buy. I went to right? buy. Mm -hmm. Not I went to buy. And at 11, okay. right? Okay. Hey, Carol, don't forget the verbs. My right? verbs are very important. Very good. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, who else wants to participate? Do we have another group before we continue? Any other group? Joanna. Joanna's group. Okay, very good. Thank you. Joanna said, no, ojalá no, ya va a ser la diez. Okay, Joanna, go. Who are you with? Um, Tatiana. Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Okay, go, Hi. Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. What did you 
What did you do yesterday? I ate uh, some fries and a burger yesterday. Where did you eat? Uh, Uh, I ate um, in the McDonald's uh, escalon. What did what why did you eat hamburger? I ate a hamburger because I I like uh, the Big Mac is delicious. It was, is delicious. It is delicious, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you have a good time? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, Tatiana, what did you do yesterday? I drank six cups of coffee. Or did you drink a coffee? I drank coffee in the restaurant. Oh, great. Why did you drink coffee? I drank coffee because I like. Uh, did you have a good time? Yes, I did. OK. OK. Yes. Excellent, very good. Estaba Juana. también con nosotros Javier. Oh, Javier, okay. Javier, but Javier is not here. Yeah, Javier. Javier. What did Javier, you no se duerma. Dormido estaba, mire, ve. <laughs> mire, se fijó. Está acostado. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tatiana no, is going uh, to ask you, Javier. I I I. I I listen listened. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's true. It's true. Okay. I believe you. Okay. <laughs> let's go, Tatiana and Javier. Thank you. What did you do yesterday? I I very sleep. I I I sleep it. Where did you sleep? Uh, in my home, in my house. Why did you mm. sleep? Because I I was very tired. Did you have a good time? I didn't. Finish me. Okay, thank you so much. Am I missing someone? Pablo Adalberto, did you practice? Yes, teacher, he practiced with me. He participated with you? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Pablo? Pablo. I think he missed the, okay. the internet again. Pablo is a lip too. <laughs> okay, well. We're going to go ahead and continue working here, right, with the activity that we're going to do. We're going to make some like questions that I want you to please pay attention to, right, before we go. We have eight minutes. The purpose of this is now we know the grammar, now we have to use it when we speak, okay? That's what we are supposed to, to do every day. So let me go, go ahead and change this for you, right? I'm going to put here six cards, 
that you can see on your screen. Six different cards. Just give me a moment. Okay, I think we will have it here. Now, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. yes miss. Okay, very good. Now, we're gonna speak right now about six topics. We have seven minutes. Right, so I need you to select one topic, one of you. All right, everyone select one topic, and I am going to select five people. No saben a quién, no saben cómo. So let's look at them. You have two minutes to decide your topic and try to give the answers that you're gonna have. Select, please. <laughs> Think about the answers. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, 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 okay. Okay, one minute, I think everyone else is ready, right? So let's start with the activity. Now, uh, let's start with you, Tatiana. What topic did you choose? Uh, TV. TV, okay. So did you watch TV yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay, what did you watch? I I I watched the program. Okay. What program did you watch? I I watched the Good Doctor. Oh, nice. I like the Good Doctor. What was it about yesterday? What was the the, the episode about? I watch um fifteen episode the uh of a uh, four no sé cómo decir I don't know a uh, four ten for four season yes yes four okay. season. Okay, did you watch The Good Doctor alone or with your family? I watched it alone. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Tatiana. Excellent job. Right, next person. Give me, an, give me a number, Tatiana, from 1 to 20. Ustedes ven sus caritas ahorita. Sí, no. Sí, verdad. Okay. Tatiana, give me a number from 1 to 20. Eduardo. Give me a number. Number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From 1 to 20. Five. five. Okay. So I have Joanna. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Carlos Vladimir. Right, Carlos, what is your topic? What did you choose? TV, TV is my topic. TV, no, yeah. we, we, we talk about TV, but well, let's see. I like to watch TV. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> did you watch TV yesterday? Yes. Okay, did you watch cable or a streaming program? A service? A streaming program, I watch a streaming program. Okay, what did you watch? 
uh, yesterday I watched to streaming uh, Disney. What? Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Okay. Yes. What do you watch in Disney Plus? Uh, I watched to the movie John Wick Two. John Wick Two. Yes. In Disney. Yes. I don't know, Rick. No, 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 no le creo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, What oh, was oh, it? Oh, in... I think it's in, in HBO. In Prime Video. I, oh, I Prime Video, know. okay. Prime What video. was it about? What, what was John Wick about? Uh, it's a movie on the... Uh, it's about our professional... Spies? Spies, uh-huh. Spies and to to kill the another people and hit the cars everything oh romantic movie yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay very good carlos and did you watch the movie alone no with, with my wife with your wife did you eat snacks no no only watch movie only watch the movie wow I always eat snacks with the movies. But yes, okay, very good. Thank you so much, Carlos. Any permission to access your text messages? Okay, por qué? Okay, now let's go ahead. We can connect to your Android. Okay, so it's 9.59, right? We have different topics. I would send you that card so you can have it and you can practice tomorrow. That's going to be our first activity. Lo que hizo Tatiana, lo que hizo Carlos, vamos a hacerlo mañana rapidito. ¿Ok? Pero ahora ya tenemos los topics. Entonces va a ser un poco más fácil, right? To do that. So let me call the attendance before we go. Right? We got here. Control de asistencia. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Resino Sarvales. Daisy Elizabeth. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Very good. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Okay. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Imelda, Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García, Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Enrique Ventura, Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez, Sara, Sara Vigaí López Portillo, Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán, Present, Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez, Denira del Carmen Gutiérrez, Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Ok. So today it's the time for Carla Eugenia, pero no sé si está disponible para quedarse, sino que daría el espacio disponible si alguien se quiere quedar esos próximos 10 minutos. Okay. Teacher, fíjese que este, yo sí quisiera quedarme. El problema es que sigo estando en la institución de gobierno. Entonces me haría difícil porque sí necesito hacerle unas consultas en relación a la unidad 3 que ya estoy desarrollando. Okay. Entonces, no sé si puede quedarse el compañero que le tocaría mañana y, y yo hago hacer el cambio. Okay. Y usted me puede atender mañana. Tomorrow is señor. for Carol. Carol, can you stay today or do you have questions? Today. Today, okay. Okay, very good. Everyone else, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Good night, Miss. Good night. Good night. Good night, Miss. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye, Emerson. Bye, Daisy. Okay, Carol, tell me, what are your questions? Um, I need practice the verbs and the forms. 
Yes. I answer that. I answer that. Uh, casi todo. <laughs> Uh -huh. But it eh, depends de mi practica. Exactamente. So. Exactamente. Tiene que practicar. Practique con los eh, links que les he mostrado en el libro. Esos links siempre están disponibles para que usted vaya, los abra y pueda practicar. ¿Ok? Entonces, no es como que... Eh, porque en la clase tenemos la clase, ¿verdad? Pero en los links siempre vamos a encontrar palabras nuevas. Y la mayoría son como jueguitos de escuchar, de ir llenando, de ir completando. Y eso le va a ayudar bastante a usted. ¿Ok? Otra cosa que tiene que hacer es que no se complique. ¿Okay? Trate de decir las cosas lo más simple posible. Busque el sujeto. Eh, ¿Usted da clases de qué? De lenguaje. Vale, ahí está. Da clases de lenguaje. Vamos a ir. Sujeto, verbo. Y, y, o, o sujeto y predicado. En el predicado se tiene el verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí es lo mismo en inglés, esa parte. Sujeto, verbo, predicado. Entonces, usted tiene subject, verb, complement. Yo como arroz. I eat rice. Right? Very simple. Entonces, si usted sabe que en, 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 eh, es algo que, que en, en inglés no cambia, que es el orden... El orden eh, sintáctico de la oración okay. sujeto, verbo, complemento lo que pasa es que usted empieza a cambiar todo de posición porque quiere hacerlo como hablamos Ajá. y no es como hablamos, es como lo decimos okay. entonces en este caso usted solamente es eh, como lo escribimos o como lo deberíamos describir okay. entonces haga eso sujeto, Carol practice English every day Carol practices English every day, right? Title, subject, practices, verb, English every day is the complement. Right? Eso es lo que right. tiene que hacer. Y no lo haga complicado, porque está en nivel 4. Entonces usted va a ir avanzando y poniendo cosas más difíciles todos los días. Usted lee muy bonito, fíjese, tiene buena pronunciación. Tiene muy buena pronunciación. Ahora solo tiene, tiene que arreglar las palabras eh, para irlas, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Expresando. Quites, yo sé que la pena cuesta quitársela, right? pero en esta clase usted tiene que venir y estar dispuesta a equivocarse todo lo posible. Okay? Porque cuando usted se equivoca, entonces yo digo, ah, se equivocó en esto, entonces no, no lo puede hacer. Empezamos a practicar. Right? Yo le digo, ah, claro, repita esto. Pero si usted no participa, yo no me voy a dar cuenta si usted sabe o no sabe. ¿Sí? Ya va viendo cómo es el juego. Sí, sí, right? sí. Y eso tiene que okay. ser con todos los profesores, no solo conmigo. Si usted no participa o si ve que el profesor solo dice sí, 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 le dice, no, no creo que esté haciendo todo bien, ayúdeme. Right? Entonces, eso es lo que tiene que hacer. ¿Cómo puede practicar? Váyase a YouTube. Right? Eh, a veces no nos gusta la música en inglés, pero váyase a YouTube. En YouTube usted va a, a buscar música en inglés. Las letras de las músicas en inglés o si tiene Spotify, hágalo en Spotify right? y escuche la música en inglés y vaya leyendo la lírica. Aunque usted no la pueda, no la entienda toda porque no la va a entender. Esa es otra cosa que nos cuesta comprender a nosotros cuando estamos hablando en idioma. Queremos entender todo, no lo vamos a entender todo. Vamos a entender uf, pedacitos. Right? Revise el diccionario de, de imágenes que les envié. También, ahí hay vocabulario. El primer, el primer enlace que nos mandó el diccionario, uh -huh. es, con ese diccionario es, es con el que tenía un poco de problema porque no sé si me aparecía algo como de instalar o algo así. Y cuando lo logro ver, me sale demasiado como publicidad. No sé por qué me aparece a mí así. Mm, no, ninguno es de instalar. Uno es en un sitio Ajá. web, el primero, el de Cambridge, es un sitio el web. Primerito. Ajá. Es un sitio web. Los otros son PDFs. Sí, los PDF. Entonces, usted me sugiere los que vienen en PDF. No, yo le sugiero los Ay, El primero es el diccionario Cambridge. Uh -huh. Ay, es el primero. Entonces, es que veo bastante, bastante publicidad. Sí, eso Entonces, siempre va a ser en un pierdo. sitio web. Ahí es donde me pierdo, que no, no sé... Eh, vaya, porque la primera parte de diccionario en inglés, inglés, eh, solo, solo dice eso. Luego, learning dictionary. 
nuevo, inglés británico esencial, inglés americano esencial, gramática, sinónimos. Pero ahí entonces opto ya por salirme de eso porque lo veo súper cargado, pero ¿dónde me sugiere usted normalmente estar consultando? ¿Qué parte? Usted, es que los dos, los, los, todos los que yo le mandé son los que usted puede utilizar. Entonces usted va a utilizar este diccionario porque yo necesito que usted vaya leyendo inglés, inglés. ¿Ok? Eso es lo primero que va a hacer. Inglés, inglés. Entonces uh, vamos a hacer acá, give me a moment. Y todas las páginas web tienen, tienen publicidad, porque si no, nos va a tocar pagarla y no queremos pagar. Sí, no, entonces ¿Eh? que el, al principio sí me perdí, me metí en una cosa y me llegó y ya, ya me salí. Entonces, es este pues, el link que está utilizando. Lo voy a enviar aquí en el, en el chat. ¿Es el mismo? ¿A dónde lo mandó? Aquí en el chat, mando? ahorita en Zoom. Ah, en Zoom. Cambridge, voy a abrirlo. En la computadora. Sí, Ajá. Okay. cambia, cambia de la interfaz de la computadora al teléfono. Ajá, ahí sí ya no hay nada que yo pueda hacer. Ajá, me cambio un poco porque primero aquí donde dice primer grado, segundo grado y todo eso no me aparece en el teléfono. Vaya, entonces creo que me va a salir mejor probar de aquí de la computadora que del teléfono. Uh -huh. Ahí donde dice abajo search, ahí le va a dar English, English, ¿verdad? Porque ahí le da opción Spanish, Spanish, English, Spanish. Entonces usted le puede dar English, English y ahí va a ver la... la las palabritas las puede ir viendo o ya, utilice ya, ya, ya o utilice Google Images ok Google Imágenes también le va a ayudar a, a utilizarlo para que usted pueda ir viendo eh, la información ok perfect, thank perfect, you, perfect. thank you anything else No? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you so much, Carol, uh, for your efforts. Bye-bye. Good, Good night.